Hello and welcome! My name is Rain and I'll be showing you how to label objects with a paper tag and string. So one of the first things you'll need to do is to wear some protective gloves like the nitrile ones I am wearing to protect you and the object. To write on your tag with, you can use a Micron Ink Waterproof Archival Pen. It has a nice small nib and it is very clear and concise to write with. You can also just use a pencil if that's what you prefer, like the 2HB one I have. Or whatever pencil, I'm not going to rag on you for that. You may also want some tweezers if getting the tag on may prove a little difficult, especially if you're wearing gloves. Importantly, we'll want an archival non-yellowing paper tag to write with. Yoink! If the tags you bought don't come with string or you need more to tie on an object with, get some 100% cotton string or something like cotton twill tape will do. All right, we got our supplies, so let's get to tagging some objects. Before we dive real deep into this topic, I just have to put it out there. We want to write clearly and concisely on our label, put the object accession number or ID on there because we can't find the object's information if we can't read it, folks. Make sense? Other things to note are not to write too big and messy on your label. Blech. Likewise, not to write too small. Is this labeling for ants, folks? Psh. So, we have our tags prepared and ready to go. I like to lay them out to make sure I haven't repeated any numbers or made mistakes. So, let's get into it. The first object I'll apply a paper tag to is this copper and brass metal object that comes in two pieces. I'm going to apply a tag to the top and the bottom. So I'll do the bottom first. I'm going to put down some cushioning so my object is not rolling around while I'm trying to put the tag on. And on my tag you'll notice I have the object accessioned number and the object name, which in this case is just base. You'll want to use your institution's actual object name, not just the made up name I put on for mine. I'm going to loop it securely on the leg there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nothing too intense there, folks. We'll move on to the lid. All right, here's the next piece, the lid. I want to make sure on it that the pieces aren't loose or damaged in any way before I put my tag on there. I have my prepared tag with the accession number and object name, which in this case is a made up one labeled lid. And I'm just going to loop it around there. You don't even have to tie it, just loop it! And there we go, perfect! So with our pieces, the tags may seem overkill and the object may already have permanent labeling, but the tags allow you to find the object information without handling it and acts as contingency in case the parts are separated. Next, we have these small embroidery scissors here that aren't appropriate for permanent labeling because they are too small and difficult to write on. These are good options for using a paper tag with. Again, I'm applying the label on a sturdy area of the embroidery scissors around the hole there and I'm just going to loop it through. Don't even have to tie it, just loop it! There you go! Perfect! Easy peasy! Oh, heavy! So this guy is a perfect option for a paper tag because although it has a permanent label on the bottom, this guy is surprisingly heavy and I want to reduce handling because he's also ceramic and has a sensitive outer layer that can be rubbed off. So I'm applying the tag in an easy to find location so that this guy won't be handled a lot or accidentally dropped if someone's looking for the label. Overall, tags are a great option. They're very user friendly and the pieces you need are pretty easy to find. But one major drawback is <gasps> they can be damaged very easily. They can rip, they can tear, they can fall off. And if a tag is the only option you have for an object's ID, like these scissors here, that can be a problem because then that object information is lost. Knowing the drawbacks, paper tags are still a great easy option to use, especially for objects where a more robust label isn't appropriate, such as basketry. It's better to tie on a label than risk damaging the object due to its porosity and sensitivity, which could make even penciling in the label difficult.